Hi, this is Howard Schwartz, and in this video, I'd like to share with you some of my thoughts about what an artist does when he or she warms up before working on a finished piece of artwork, and contrast that with what um, a piano player does when he or she warms up uh, for playing the piano. So, the main difference, and, and let me just say that what you're seeing on the screen now is the beginning of a drawing that I'm doing of my wife Virginia. Uh, it doesn't really do her justice, but the drawing is meant to bring out a different point, which I'll share with you in a couple of minutes. Anyway, what, what a piano player does to warm up is they, they might play scales on, on the piano using a metronome that sounds a little something like this. Now the, the metronome would be relatively slow at first and then as uh, the, the piano player gets warmed up the, the pacing gets faster and faster but it happens so gradually that it's easier for the uh, piano player to pick up the extra speed and suddenly um, all, all of a sudden the piano player is playing the scales, uh, usually it's scales, but playing the scales at a very fast pace whereas at the beginning of the of the warm-up uh, when the fingers weren't quite as flexible and, 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 and loose these scales were being played at a much slower pace. Now uh, that, that will enable the piano player to play something uh, along this line afterwards which is a very famous well-known classical piece of music which I'll play for you now. Now in order to play that, uh, as I said, the pianist warms up first by playing scales, and then once the scales have been, um, been played, then, then the piano player starts playing the classical piece of music that he's, he wants to rehearse. The interesting thing is that the artist does the exact opposite. Uh, a lot of times in a, in a, in a drawing class, or what, what winds up happening is at the very beginning, the, uh, the model who's posing does very quick poses. It could be 30 seconds leading up to a minute, leading up to two minutes, leading up to five minutes. So whereas the pianist starts the metronome at a very slow pace and then speeds up, the, um, the artist does drawings at a very quick pace and then, and then slows down. And I'm, I'm bringing this point up for a reason. So here, here I am working on this drawing of, of my wife, Virginia, and this reminds me of a story a number of years ago when I was working on a similar drawing, this time of the model, who was posing for the art class, and the in instructor came along to give me a critique of my work. And ra rather than focus on the things that I was focusing on, which was the, um, all the feeling that I put into this and the line quality that I had and how much personality the, the model had. Now, all these things that I really focused on and paid a great deal of attention to as far as um, what I thought a good drawing was and what a bad drawing was. Um, the instructor focused on something entirely different. Let me just get a few more strokes in here and I'm not even really even using reference at this point. I'm just putting something down. And as I said, this isn't even doing my wife justice. She is a lot more beautiful than this. But for the purposes of this exercise, this, this will do for now. But anyway, the point that I'm making, let me just put that there, put that shoulder there, and in the background, there was a lamp. So I want to get that lamp in. And I'm doing this in Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop CC. With a Wacom tablet. So here's the lamp. 
And as I said, I'm improvising this just to bring out a point. A couple more strokes. Okay. So the instructor comes over to me, and I'm going to demonstrate what he did in the upper left corner of this, this drawing. Just want to change the setting. Um, not there. I'm going to change the setting to airbrush. His concern was entirely different. I'm just going to do a quick sketch of this. His concern, let me just get this on, just want some reference. Bear with me for a second. Okay, so what the art teacher did was he was focused, let me make this bigger, on simplifying light and shade in the drawing. So he did a little sketch in the upper left corner of what I was, of the page that I was working on, and it doesn't quite matter what he did, but it was something along this line. So he was focused on things that I wasn't even concerned about, that I didn't really care about. And... Uh, As I said, he didn't really pay much attention to the areas of the drawing that I was most interested in, which was the line quality, the personality, etc., etc. He was more interested in demonstrating how the shadow the shadow form and the uh, the light form, and he did this a lot better than what I'm doing now, I'm just scribbling something. But the point that I wanted to make with this is that I had all sorts of needs as an artist that led me to do the drawing that I did, and the critique that I got had absolutely nothing to do with what the, what the drawing was about. But at the same time, the critique that he gave was really uh, was really important because it is important to know how to separate the light and shadow into into distinct areas, which um, I'm not really using any reference here, so this didn't come out quite the way I wanted it to. But the point is made anyway, and the realization that I came up with recently, based on this, is that the critique that he gave me while it wasn't suited for the drawing, would be something that would be well suited for as a warm-up exercise. Because I find that artists, when they warm up to do their artwork, are just basically doing gesture drawings. So let me just cover this for a second and create a new layer. Layer 5, doesn't matter what it's called. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Warming up for an artist is basically doing gesture drawings that are very, very short. And they're supposed to loosen up the, uh, the artist's arm and, and hand. And when you do these drawings, the idea isn't to draw what, you, what you're looking at. It's more to draw what, what you're looking at is doing. So, the, and while I think it's a good idea to do that, and there's a lot to be gained from it, the main drawback to doing that is it only deals with one aspect of art. It doesn't really deal with light and shade. It doesn't really deal with anatomy. It doesn't deal with, with a lot of things, with, with color. It doesn't deal with a lot of things. So my thought was, wouldn't it be interesting in just the way that a p pianist does, does these exercises on the piano before he gets ready to um, play a finished piece of music, wouldn't it be interesting if the artist 
did a series of exercises that he practiced every day, say for 20 minutes or a half an hour, doing different exercises related to the different um, aspects of art. Not just gesture drawing, but, but the other aspects also. Separating light and shade, color, anatomy, etc., etc. So when he or she is working on a drawing similar to the one that I was working on um, at the beginning of this lesson, that there's that there's a more there's more of a foundation. So that that was the point that I wanted to make in this video. And thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And um, and that that's it for now.